In today's episode, I take a look at the HeroMission 6 extruder cooling system for 3D printers. This completes the assembly. The Hero Mission 6 is the most versatile mount for Creality printers. Over 10 million possible combinations. Finding the parts you need in the 377 parts of the Hero Mi package is not easy fit. The documentation helps, but is a bit generic, as it covers so many versions. With very few exceptions, the parts are already correctly oriented. The parts must be printed with supports enabled. Use support from the build plate only. I made a number of mistakes during assembly. Secure the fan after attaching the duct to the base. Otherwise some screw will not be accessible. Orient the E3D V6 along the Y axis. Otherwise it will interfere with the part cooling duct. Reorienting the hot end requires almost everything to be disassembled again. Attach the hot end fan before attaching the extruder motor. Attach the ABL wings before the fan ducts. Connect the ABL wires to the sensor before attaching the ABL mount to the base. The duct height should be adjusted, such that it is between 1.4 and 1.8 mm above the build plate, when the nozzle touches the build plate. The ABL sensor height must be adjusted to be 2-3 mm below the nozzle when deployed. In the firmware, update the ABL sensor offsets, the home offsets, and the bed size. The most obvious difference between Gen 6 and Gen 5 is the use of threaded inserts instead of captured nuts. Some nuts were particularly difficult to reach in the Gen 5. The part cooling ducts have been improved too, with a larger exhaust port to reduce back pressure. The Hero Mi is compatible with four types of fans for part cooling. To connect a 12 volt fan to a 24 volt sprinter, you can lower the voltage using an LM2596 DC DC converter. There are two types of ducts, either single fan and dual ducts, or dual fan and dual ducts. This gives me a total of 8 setups to test. Let's start with the single fan setups.
Now let's take a look at the dual fan setups. Dual cooling isn't really needed for the kinds of print speed you will be able to sustain on a standard 3D printer. The single fan only starts to show its limits when printing with high throughput hot ends like the 3D Volcano. Note that the Hiromi designer does not recommend to exceed 70% power for dual fan setups. Using 100% power leads to adhesion issues, warping, and can even deflect the extruding filament. The purpose of using two fans is actually to reduce noise by running them at half speed. Let's see what we get. We are now ready to calibrate retractions. Starting with linear advance, I print the K-factor calibration pattern from Marlin with K values between 0 and 0.1. The optimal linear advance factor is 0.04. Once the linear advance is set, the system becomes almost insensitive to the retraction distance. Any positive value would give acceptable retractions with no stringing. I use a retraction distance between 1 and 2 mm and a retraction speed of 50 mm per second. Last but not least, let's take a look at vibrations. My Xiaomi Gen 6 setup weighs about 470 grams. By attaching an accelerometer to the print head, we can measure the response of the Xiaomi to vibrations. The less the setup is sensitive to vibrations, the more it is possible to use high accelerations. I start by checking along the x-axis. Hiromi fans tends to vibrate at very high frequencies. The problem is that the ducts are only attached at the bottom, allowing them to flex and vibrate at the top. Now let's check along the y-axis. The print head starts to vibrate back and forth at about 32 Hz. The 3D printed base doesn't seem stiff enough to firmly support the weight of the motor at the top. On the frequency response plot, we can see two peaks corresponding to these two vibration modes. That's it for today. Thank you for watching.